Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the DreamHost Web FTP feature. And to demonstrate this functionality, I'm going to be uploading a website via FTP. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, I invite you to follow along in this tutorial. We'll get started right away here. I am logged into my DreamHost panel here. And just as an overview, what we're gonna do is take this zip file, which is the contents of a website, and upload it via FTP. So the website we're, we're going to be working with is tonyflorida.me. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what we see for that website right now. And it, this domain name is registered with DreamHost, but as you can tell, there is no website associated with it. So let's go back to our panel and find that domain name in domains, manage domains. And once that loads, we can come down to the bottom. You'll see there's a lot of domain names on this account. Um, but we want to work with tonyflorida.me. So go ahead and click on web FTP and that's going to open the web FTP user interface. And as you can see, there is nothing in here. This is, this is basically like a directory listing. There should be files and folders. There's not any of those yet, but we can fix that real quick. All we really have to do is take this zip file and drag it into here. As you can see, it says drop files here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it has detected that this is a zip file an archive and it's asking, do we want to unzip the files? And we actually do, we want to upload and unzip. So we'll click on that button. And this usually doesn't take longer than, I mean, for something of this size, like 30 seconds, it uploads real quick. And then it takes a little bit longer to unzip. Um, but instead of wasting your time, I'll just pause the video and catch up with you when it finishes. All right, guys, so just like 30 seconds or so later, we have our files uploaded and unzipped. So let's just take a look at that real quick. We have our index.html file, JavaScript directory with all of our JavaScript files, image directory, a font directory, and a CSS directory with all of our style CSS files. So at this point, because this is a static website, it does not depend on any databases. This will just load right out of the index.html file. We should be able to go to a new tab and actually we have this tab open already. We should just be able to refresh this page and see that website load from that directory. So let's go ahead and test that out. Let's click the refresh button and there you go. This is the contents of this website that we just uploaded. It is a static website, like I said, um, just some HTML, CSS, JavaScript files, but that is in essence how you upload stuff via the DreamHost Web FTP user interface. Um, if you have something like a WordPress website though with a database and a lot of other dependencies, you cannot upload your website this way. You will have to do something um, I have a couple other videos that will show you how to do that with a plugin. So check one of those out if that's something you're interested in learning how to do. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.